Tom, there's been an emergency, hasn't there? A big one. Only two strapping young men to save the day. There's one. Here's another. What's happened? Uh, what has happened? We were supposed to be flying out to Frankfurt on Friday, weren't we? Yes. Little jolly boys out in. For, for the European trade show. For the European trade show. There it is, in all its glory. I did do that colouring in as well myself. Uh, however, due to a few samples live, arriving late, uh, which were supposed to be sent out on a lorry last week, they've only arrived yesterday. So Henry and Curly have saved the day by offering to drive these goods out, because we can't take them on a plane, obviously. So Henry and Curly are going to drive them out to Frankfurt, and they're getting a free bit of fishing not one to miss an opportunity, Henry being the European <laughs> maestro that he is. Well, he doesn't actually work anymore, he just fishing, doesn't he? Ooh. Curly. Do you actually do any work mm. anymore, or you just fish abroad? Look, I can find you? someone else to go. Will, do you fancy <laughs> yeah, coming I'll to the garage? Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Exactly, right. No, we've got an important job to do. Very important. The, the trade show relies <laughs> on me and you, Henry. Yeah, the business of Nash Tackle relies on me and you getting to Frankfurt. There wouldn't be Nash Tackle. You promised me you would get these samples to Frankfurt by Saturday morning, yeah? In one piece. Which means you, you, there's two things you can't do. Get caught poaching and get everything confiscated, or get arrested. True. Or get arrested. Okay. Because that made delay procedures. I, rec I reckon we'll survive. Curly, you're... Oh, <laughs> I don't know who's just what. But certainly not me. Yeah, but look, look, you're <laughs> Will, you're what made. a bad choice. <laughs> Will, you've made it. <laughs> we need an adult. <laughs> we need an adult. Right, are you excited for a little Henry and Curly outing? <sighs> when have I never not been excited for a Henry and Curly outing? Very true. Fucking hell, you're gonna get, you are going to get arrested, aren't you? Yeah. If you get caught poaching, <laughs> you get your tackle confiscated. <laughs> they'll then think that them Titan Bibbies are your tackle, even though they're not your personal tackle. They'll confiscate them as well. We won't have a trade show, you'll ruin it all. And that tackle will collapse without... We'll all lose, it. We'll lose our jobs. Yeah. What's happened? What's happened? The samples haven't turned up. Oh. Here tomorrow. What do we think of that, Curly? I'm look going at, home. Look how sad you've made him. I'm going home. It's not my fault, it was always meant to be Wednesday. No, You've wasn't. just tried to sneak in an extra night's fishing, Henry. Yeah. It was always yeah. it was always that you're going on Wednesday, and then all of a sudden, no, we're going on Tuesday. So Henry wants another night's free fishing. Yeah. Yeah, so actually, you have sold Curly down the river, is what's happened. I got up early this morning and drove all the exactly, way Exactly, Henry. You've made him do this. You're bang out of order. You told me I could go on Tuesday. If everything turns up. And it hasn't. Oh. What we need to do is go to Sansa to pick it up from the UPS depot. Yeah. You have, to, you have to get airside first as well. That's always a bit tricky. Yeah. All right. Mm. Get on plane. We'll find a way, won't we, Curly? Yeah. We'll make it happen. Where there's we a will, there's a way. Oh, great. So, sleep over at the office then tonight, Curly. We'll leave first thing. Wait. First no, thing. Not first That's thing. probably no. 8 and 12 tomorrow. Yeah, 8 and 12, 45. You're just not <laughs> listening, Henry. This seems to be your problem. Uh. You, just, you just make up what you want to hear, and that's it. Right. Well. This segment was delayed by a day. Oh well. Nice free fish on the church, I reckon. Yes. Good call. Yeah. Well, it is Wednesday morning now, and me and Curly are still here. Products didn't arrive last night, so we had a romantic sleepover of pizza and beer, and now we are waiting for the products to arrive to leave today. In other news, Henry, I am now legal in another country. To fish. To fish. Look at that. Don't show my address. <laughs> Don't want people sending me a... Uh, fan mail. Fan mail. We'll, we'll be on the road soon, Curly. The holiday... I when I believe it. Ho not holiday, sorry. The work, impo important work trip will begin soon. Very important work trip. We've got a very sad Curly over there. And I understand why. Yeah, basically what's happened is one of the products that we needed to arrive. Should have arrived yesterday. Yesterday. No, Friday. Last Friday. Last Friday. Now we won't arrive until this Friday probably. So we're delaying our drive over. Curly had actually taken holiday to come on this trip because he was going to carry on fishing while I was going to carry on to the trade show. So Curly's now spent two days of his holiday, sat in the office waiting for a product to arrive. Now it's not going to arrive in time for Curly to make the trip worthwhile. 
So. I've just spent 120 <laughs> euros on a ticket. I need to spend €120 Euros on a ticket. So it's not looking great to be curly right now. Um, and I've also missed out some fishing, but life at Nash. How these things happen sometimes, eh? Life so, at Nash. Life at Nash. I wouldn't have it any other way, would you, Kelly? I wouldn't, mate. <laughs> That's why they pay me the big bucks. <laughs> what do they pay you? <laughs> About four grand a year. Four? <laughs> lucky, <laughs> you're lucky. <laughs> Seb has just called me through. He said he's got a parcel. Let's see if it is the power packs and we can head off to Belgium. That looks... That looks like a passport, mate, that's what that looks like. That looks like it could definitely be what we're after. That looks like a power pack shape to me. It does indeed. Just give it the uh... Big unveiling, there we go. Oh, you know the logo? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> logo will not be on final products, just but, as everyone knows, but... There we are. That's them. Does this mean I can go? This means you can leave, mate. Can <laughs> Wicked, out. right. Five days later, we move. <laughs> Here we are at the Euro Tunnel. Sadly, short a curly. Curly didn't want to uh, stick around for another day, waiting for the sample to arrive. He thought he was better off going home because he did take holiday. He wanted to go over and fish his own lake, which means I'm out here on my own alongside a van full of trade show products. I think I've got two nights of fishing, then I need to get to Frankfurt. Three or four days in Frankfurt, then I might even sneak a night on the way back, but we'll see. But very excited. I'm always excited about the Euro Tunnel because it means you're about to go on a cool adventure. A little bit different this time to what I'm normally used to, but fingers crossed for a nice carp all the same. Gonna get a bit of food now, get on the tunnel, and head over to the continent. Here we are in Belgium. Um, got about two hours of daylight left. Just pulled up to a stretch I wanted to fish. Uh, there's actually some English anglers there already, so I'll have to find somewhere somewhere else. So it's a case of getting these on, walking, trying to find something. I'm pretty confident that uh, the two stretches I'm going to look at will hold fish. Just want to see if there's any about where I think they could be. Um, and then, yeah, get the rods out for the night. Yeah, excited, happy to be here. See if we can catch a couple. Wandering down this old weedy canal, trying to see a few shapes. Nothing so far. Well, we've found somewhere to fish. We've got about 20 minutes of light left. Uh, I walked up and down three stretches. Didn't see anything that I was, saw a couple of small carp, but nothing worth fishing for. So I've settled on somewhere which I've fished before. It's got a very cool boat lifting structure, uh, a few pontoons, a bit of wood. So all that structure, I think the carp do like to hang around here and like I said I fished it before and um, and did all right here so normally I'm eager to get my rods out straight away but there's a thunderstorm coming so I've got the bivvy up I've also put a bit of food on because I'm starving I need to eat I'm going to slowly get rods sorted get them out um, I think it's going to rain so the next shot will probably be me tucked up in a bivvy with the rain pissing down Well, a somewhat productive night. Three bites, um, sadly lost one, but landed two, similar sizes. I just kept one, they're not the biggest fish in the world. But, for a quick drop off on a canal, we'll take that. Classic Belgian, common from the canals. Gotta love it. It's looking really good, although I've not quite any big ones. I'm feeling confident I'm gonna stay here until I have to leave tomorrow. Fingers crossed we get a big one. There are some nice ones in this stretch. Looking very carpy, big storm last night. Very autumnal. Come on, the big girls. Well, as you can see, we're one rod down because we have one in the net. Very small. I'll get them on the mat and then slip them back. Here we go, a very small one. I thought I'd get them up and show you. Where are the big ones at, hey? Angry as well. Calm down. We need a bigger one. Hopefully it'll come soon. But a nice way to break up the day. Mega. 
well after I've had that fish I thought I'd just quickly run through what I'm using uh, very simple little Ronnie rig something that I pretty much use in 95% of my fishing this time I'm using it on a pop-up little uh, yellow glugs kind of squid pop-up so I've got a bit of putty on it if I was fishing it with a wafter I wouldn't fish with it with the putty but this is what I use for so much of my fishing it serves me well everywhere I go and that's why I use it I don't think too much about rigs something I'm confident in so I can change the hook with quickly that's why I go for a Ronnie six ounce grip of lead a length of a Klingon leader and all I'm doing is I'm casting it off the bridge putting some bait over it and walking it back round very simple I know it's presented that way I can get really tight bait in and it's done three of the four bites so far that particular spot so I'm gonna get it back out now bait I'm using is Scobit Squid 20 mil and 12 mil boilies as the base then I'm putting oily hemp, tiger nut slush and tigers in there as well. It's quite important what I do with this is I put the boilies in first, then I put the particle on top and I sort of leave it to sit for a couple of days so that all the juices, they sink to the bottom where the boilies are, the boilies soak them in and they turn into this incredible mushy ball of goodness that the carp just seem to love. I've caught so many fish on it this summer and going into the autumn and uh, yeah, it's pretty much my go-to bait mix. What I'm doing here is my go-to standard how I fish pretty much 8% of the time. I'll only change if the environment or the particular situation forces me to, but if I can come to a lake and be confident that how I want to fish will work, this is what I'll do, exactly what I'm doing now. And despite not catching any big fish so far, it seems to be working. Rods are out, raining slightly. Sadly, I have just lost one, which I'm gutted about. Pretty gutted about the um, losing that fish, I won't lie, it did feel like a better one. Um, this is the problem when I'm fishing close to those wooden stanchions. Stanchions? 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 Um, yeah, sometimes you just got to give them a bit and sadly, sometimes they, uh, they slip the hook like they did this time. But, oh well, still got more than 12 hours to go. So, I'm feeling pretty confident. I think when I get another couple of bites at least, just I'm hoping for a big one. There are some really cool carp in here. Been waiting for a bite there, seen some bubbling, think it's gonna happen any second. Rod absolutely buckled over, incredible bite, think it would be a big one. And we've got another pasty common, smallest of the, of the lot so far I reckon, about four pounds. It's just down there in the net, I'm gonna slip him back. Good morning. I'm late for the trade show, but that's because we've had a carp that's very angry. Two in the night, one small common, and this one, slightly better. Mid 20, something like that, 25, 26. Yeah, cool one. Absolutely tore my arm off. Yeah, if I'd lost it, I'd have said it was a 40. But yeah, cool carp. Successful little trip, despite no big ones. So now it's a case of get everything packed down. Off to Frankfurt, seen all the European guys. Yeah, I'll take that as a little work trip stop off.